my beautiful Aquariuses, welcome to your love forecast horoscope for what is their true feelings for you right now. I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you guys would like a live personal reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. And if you guys are a fan of the mysteries or unsolved true crime stories, you can check out my second YouTube channel, JWZ Mysteries, and all the information is in the description box below. All right, let's switch up camera views here. So what are we going to talk about today? Well, first of all, we're going to talk about your love interest feelings, and then we're going to talk about what they want out of this connection, and then we're going to find out some advice for you guys. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. So how does my Aquarius' love interest the one they're here for, the one they want to know about. How does my Aquarius's love interest feel about my Aquarius's romantically? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, let's take a look at this Aquarius. Oh my goodness, it's coming right out the gate here, guys. Very deep love, a very deep love here. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. This person wants to open things up. And uh, they're definitely wanting to go with their emotions here in the situation. They want to flow with their emotions. They want some changes here. So let's keep going. All right. How does my Aquarius's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, how does my Aquarius's love interest feel about my Aquarius's romantically? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so there's this deep love here, but your person is feeling stuck or stagnant or complacent. Let's use Lenormand as well. We use Gypsy, this is Gypsy, we're gonna use Lenormand. How does Aquarius' love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, how does Aquarius' love interest feel about Aquarius' romantically? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Let's see here, Aquarius. There we go with that love. We double clarification on love. Okay, let's keep going. How does Aquarius's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, how does Aquarius's love interest feel about Aquarius's romance? Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so there's a stuck, stagnant energy possibly because of some kind of infringing party here. Could be an ex. Also, it could be a family member, a friend. Okay, from my experience of using my deck, this card can be representing an ex, but it also can represent other people that could be infringing in the connection. Okay, so let's see here. Mm, goodness, you got the King of Cups and you got the Aries Sagittarius Legal Energy. This person's like, wow, you light up a room, Aquarius. You know, I have such magnetic chemistry with you. All right, let's see here. I feel bad about what happened. I have a lot of regrets. I can't believe this. I want some type of change here, some kind of improvement. And there could have been a change of location too for some of you guys. I'm so cautious and defensive. I don't want to get hurt. I'm really cautious. I'm trying to stay hopeful about the situation with the star card. We see travel, movement, or change. Okay, so it looks like they want to travel to you. They want to give you some kind of gift, some kind of surprise. They've really been thinking about this very deeply. Some of you guys, so there's a, there's a cautious energy with this person. They feel a lot of self-doubt because of some other person, but they've been deeply thinking about you. And obviously, we so far we can see that this person has deep love for you and also a lot of chemistry. And potential signs involved with the situation could be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. But let's keep going. Again, we have another, oh my God, that's pretty rare. King of Cups and another King of Cups. Oh my goodness, okay, another King of Cups. Wow, another clarification about very deep love, okay. We see ending, stopping, completion. And we see, we see again, romance coming out here. And this person has strong feelings for you. And because they have strong feelings, they feel it's worth exploring here. 
Again, we're getting love card here, Aquarius. Um, this person is seeing you and they want to communicate with you and get love's messages or send you love messages. Looks like they want to spend some alone time with you, spend some intimate time together. They're trying to gain that courage, confidence, and strength to do that. Yeah, definitely wants to get you alone. Okay. Oh my goodness, you are a strong temptation for this person with the devil card energy. They are obsessively thinking about you right here with the devil card energy. Strong attachment, you can even see that. It's like they want to catch you in their web. They want to keep you to themselves. There we go again with this gift ener energy here. They want to give you something. They want to bring um, some kind of gift to you. They feel that you have value and worth with the gift card energy. Let's keep going. They have some sense of confusion here. They're trying to clear the air to get some kind of clarity here with the clouds card energy. They do want to make the effort. So let's bring it all together. So we see this person could be an ex for some of you guys could be some kind of infringing party could be a family member a friend okay some kind of infringing party there which is making them feel scared and defensive they've been thinking about this very deeply they've been doing a lot of soul searching about the connection they're aware that they have very strong feelings for you now if you're single and available to pursue they want to make the effort or this could be saying i have strong feelings for you how do i get you alone or I've been lonely, right? I'm lonely, isolated, separated, then I can make this effort. Because I do feel like this love is worth taking the effort. I feel like this is a great love connection for me. So going further, we see a marriage, a house, a home, a solid foundation here. And wanting some kind of massive change here in this connection. This person's like, I need to be patient. I need to make the wise decision. I need to invest time here. I want to give them an opportunity. I hope they say yes. I hope they say yes. Hmm. So if I go down this way, I can see that we see this ex-partner, this unfinished business here like memories of the past, some kind of nostalgic situation. We see strong feelings for you and an opportunity, but cautious and defensive because this isolation, this separation, single and available to pursue. So let's continue to go further here. So we see, I want to accomplish something. I want to complete something. I want something long-term. Ten of Pentacles energy. I feel like you know, I can see us together on the long term, getting old together, being together for a long time. How do I tell you this? How do I tell you this? How do I manipulate the situation to my advantage? You see me in person coming out. How do I gain control over this situation to take control of my destiny, to assert myself, to gain control over this situation, to gain the power that I need here with the Emperor card energy. How do I get control over this? Okay, let's keep going. I don't want to get in the middle of the situation, but I need to bring things into balance and have this conversation. Even if they get up and walk away from me, I need to talk with them about this. I need to fix the situation. I need to heal this situation with a temperance card. Because I'm so depressed. I can't even get out of bed. I feel so depressed. And highly emotional about this situation with the fish card energy. My emotions are running away with me. I don't know if I'm coming or going. I keep thinking about this. I keep overanalyzing this, trying to be patient to figure this out. 
I just want some kind of decision. I want to cut away the unhealthy things from the past. I want something to happen here fast. Knight of Swords energy. Okay, so we see this person card, this infringing party. I'm cautious, defensive. I've been thinking about you very deeply, Aquarius. I love you. Um, this isolation, this separation, I want to make the effort towards this opportunity and I want to gain power and control and make a power move towards you, assert myself. And so I want something to happen fast. I want to cut away the unhealthy things from the past here. Aquarius, I love you and I want some type of change. I want improvements here. I want to give to this romance and gain control of this situation because I'm so confused about the waiting around. I want to offer you my heart, my love. The fish card means emotions, okay? Just for you guys that um, are just learning how to read Lenormand, just in case you were wondering why I said it that way. Okay. I'm stuck, I'm stagnant, and I regret this this travel, this change here, an ending of a situation. I want to get you alone and give to this change. I want to do something sly and slick here. Okay. Well, this, this case scenario could be passionate, okay? Because um, if you look at this card and you look at this card and you look at this card and this also can be the rest card. Okay, so... They could be interested also, okay, they're feeling like they want to do something passion with you. Okay, so passion exercises, all right. Okay. My goodness, there's like three cards of love here. Three cards of deep love. We got King of Cups, King of Cups, Page of Cups, okay, so definitely wants love messages and deep love, okay, from you. Okay, so they feel deep love for you. Strong chemistry and passion, and then we got this temptation card too. So there's strong chemistry and passion for you and a strong temptation. They also may feel there's a spiritual connection or they're getting, they wanna, they wanna stay hopeful about the connection because they can't let you go, they're attached to you. They wanna catch you in their spider web, they don't wanna let you go. They want to keep you for themselves. That's what I get the sense of from this card. It's like, no, don't go. I want to keep you to myself, all to myself at this house and home for the long-term family, long-term commitment. I want to bring things into balance and heal the situation. So we look at the numbers of this. I want to take a leadership role for hopeful energy to communicate, because this is another leadership role. I have strong desires for stability and stableness and complete or accomplish something here to bring things into balance. That's like the Six of Pentacles energy. But that's the major of the minor of Six of Pentacles. Okay, so let's find out by using Lilla Norman, what does Aquarius, what is your love, first of all, you know, let's find out what they want to say to you. What does Aquarius, serious love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to about? What does Aquarius' love interest want to say to Aquarius' romance? Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards you need. Two. See. There's that family card again. Yeah. They're seeing this as something long term. They're letting you know they have strong magnetic chemistry and attraction to you, that they're lusting after you, they want to flirt with you, you're very alluring to them. There's concerns of like the toxicness, you know, the misunderstandings, the fighting, the arguments. They realize that this connection was a faded connection. What I'm saying is this, this person feels like it's meant to be, it's destined to be that you're an air of mystery to them, an enigma. They don't know, They're, there's, they have uncertainty. They want some kind of decision to be made. They may spy on you on social media there, okay? They do feel like you've invoked within them some type of spiritual awakening. And so they're at a crossroads about what to do. They have a lot of regret about what happened and they've been seeing a lot of signs and synergies here. And they're concerned about some kind of third party or an infringing person here, you know, interference of another person. 
they have these addictions towards you and you know they're they're concerned about the timing here and they just want to go out and hang out and have fun meet up okay so let's see what they want from the connection so what does Aquarius is love interest the one they're here for the one they want to talk about what does Aquarius's love interest want from Aquarius romantically show me the cards I need to see show me the cards I need to see all right, what do they want from this connection? Okay, so they definitely want the people that are involved and infringing upon this connection to be cut out of this. You can see worries and concerns about people. And this represents cutting away, cutting out massive change, just like shocking change. They want to gain some kind of knowledge and some type of control here. And they want there to, to be a decision made. They want this long time stability here in love. Very clear cut, stable love connection with you. Okay, so whatever these infringing parties are in this connection, this person wants them gone. They want them out of the way because they want a stable, long time stable love connection with you. All right, so Aquarius, let's move this out of the way and let's get you guys some advice. Can I have advice for my Aquarius when it comes to their love connection for their highest, best good, for the best possible outcome? Um, show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Congratulations on your abundance. Be patient. There is a healing coming. There's about to be massive change here, Aquarius, which will bring things into balance with this connection. Follow your intuition. Listen to your intuition. I know there's a lot of emotions here, but you're about to get what you want. So go for it with caution. Surrender to your emotions or don't let your emotions run away with you. And focus on your happiness, joy. So what is it saying? It's saying that there's going to be some changes happening here in this connection. Good changes, positive changes. And get ready for those changes. Now, I always want to preface this on Aquarius, you have choices. Right? So follow your heart and listen to your intuition. You know what is best for you. I'm only here as guidance. Okay? It does look like you can preserve the situation with this person. It does look like there's going to be some great changes coming in. However... You feel you do what you, you feel is best for you, okay? All right, my darlings, I love you guys so much. If you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I'll see you guys another date or two. However, I do read my comments, guys, so I do love hearing from you guys in the comments below. So if you claim this message, if you feel comfortable sharing your own personal situation with me, I would love to hear from you guys in the comments below. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys soon. There's the monthlies up and available for you guys to watch for June. There's the weeklies, the bi-weeklies. Uh, let's see what else. 2023s, new loves, uh, extra turn reads, no contact reads up and available for you guys to watch. All up and available for you guys to watch right now. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys soon.